Hello and welcome. You're watching Security News TV. My name is Steve Atkins. We're here today in the Allianz Arena in Munich at the KOBN Executive Summit Technology 2020. Uh, joining me is Karen Sveheim, uh, Director of Markets of Precise Biometrics. Karen, welcome. Now, one thing that uh, has always impressed me about Precise, Match on Card, a technology that you have not wavered from since the very beginning. Um, obviously, it's worked very well for you. Um, what I would love is to see the, your latest updates, your readers, and for you to take our cameras through this. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, what Precise Biometrics focuses on is then uh, combining biometrics with uh, with the smart card. That way we leverage the security aspects of the smart card, the portability of it, the possibility to, to do offline transactions. And what biometrics adds to this is to make the, the token or the smart card truly personal. So that means that you as a user are always in possession of your own fingerprint information. It's stored and it's matched on the actual smart card. Um, this also preserves the user's privacy because, as I just said, you don't have the databases uh, that you need to rely on for storing and all your personal data. And what Precise Biometrics has done successfully is to, um, to add this onto any type of smart card platform. So we have um, all kinds of smart cards, Java cards, Nautilus cards, .NET cards, or native integration. So we work with any smart card provider uh, with this technology. In terms of our readers, we have the, uh, the largest installed base of combined fingerprint and smart card readers in the world today. So the Precise 200 series contains uh, the possibility to do uh, embedded pre-processing mm -hmm. of an image, uh, meaning it's a highly secure device. Uh, it's the most de deployed readers in the world of its kind, and the Precise 200 MC is used with the US Department of State in um, okay. all of their uh, facilities, consulates and embassies all over the world. Uh, the Precise 250 is more uh, sturdy device, a more bulky device that is being used in public environments. For mm -hmm. example, Scandinavian Airlines uses this to uh, to check in and to board passengers on domestic flights in uh, Scandinavia. Okay. So it's used by 11 million people every year. So these are devices that uh, are pretty robust and very very high quality. What I'd like to show you is how an enrollment takes place, what happens when you enroll a fingerprint onto a smart card, and demonstrate um, a use scenario. So what I'll show you here is the enrollment to a smart card, where we will take two fingerprint uh, samples and store uh, one of them as a template on the smart card. So first of all, I will place my finger on the reader. We'll take the first sample. I will place the finger a second time. And this will be compared so that um, they are similar, not two different fingers. Uh, I insert the smart card, and what happens is that the fingerprint image is converted to a digital representation, so it becomes a template, and it's stored onto the um, secure chip of the smart card. What I'll then do is I'll, I'll demonstrate for you a user scenario where you imagine this being a national ID card, um, which could be, for example, used in the uh, in a voting scenario, for example. So imagine this being the election day. You come to City Hall to, to do your vote, you choose a candidate. Um, you want your vote, obviously, to be anonymous, so you put this in a sealed envelope, which then is handed over to an officer that needs to compare that you are on the roll to um, to present your votes. This person will then ask you to present your national ID card uh, to do the verification that this is your card and you have the right to vote. So what I'll do is then I'll place my finger on the, on the fingerprint reader. Uh, with a successful match, my vote has then been registered and is uh, passed on for um, the election. And and you say that certainly this particular reader is now being used by how many million people? Uh, this uh, is used by 11 million people every year in, uh, in the aviation industry. Mm -hmm. 
this is used by, um, I would say, 60,000 users within the U.S. government, okay. within several types of um, banks all over the world, mm -hmm. Middle East, uh, Europe, um, a lot of different type of uh, government agencies. Good. Now, I, I interviewed you a little while back, and you, you said that the, the whole aviation area was something that you were very big in, you were mm -hmm. going to grow in that. So this would definitely be a, a rollout of more and more of these readers within that particular it could, very, it could very well be. Um, what, what Precise is focused on is actually not to, to um, tie our technology to our own hardware, but we actually are sensor agnostic. So we could use any third-party fingerprint reader. We could use the sensors that are embedded mm -hmm. onto a laptop. And we don't want to restrict our customers in the choice of hardware because we know that these demands and the budgets can change mm -hmm. uh, over time. So we, we have a more open approach in, in terms of hardware. But this is uh, obviously a very um, well-proven device in, in that area. Certainly is. Karen, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming along and, uh, and showing us this today. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Karen Sveheim, Precise Biometrics. My name is Steve Atkins. You're watching Security News TV.